my name is Deline and I have a reveal for you. If you guys watch my Instagram, you guys know what I got. It is an adorable piece. This is something that I wasn't sure if I was going to get because a lot of the younger people get it or a lot of moms and with younger kids and I'm neither. So I debated and debated and finally when I went on to the Louis Vuitton website, which I stock often, um, even though if the bag is not really on my wish list, but I like it, I decided when this bag did say uh, put it in the basket, I did get it. So it came in a box in the mail. So it came in this desk bag here. It's a tiny piece, you guys. This is such a popular bag, and it was it is raved about constantly. And it is the Palm Spring Mini. It is the most adorable piece that I own, seriously, besides my Nano Speedy. My Nano Speedy is one of my favorites as well. It is just a cute piece and I feel the same way about this bag. I got the newer version as you can see because I just got it recently and the zipper is completely buttery smooth. It is so smooth, I love it. It is the cutest thing ever. I thought about getting the World Tour one because I thought it was so cute. Because it's a backpack, I thought it would look really cute with some stickers on there. But I changed my mind and decided I wanted to get something more simple. I do like the reverse monogram, but this one came, um, this one was available and I thought the first one that's available, I am gonna go ahead and snag. So this is what I got. The inside is just, it is such a cute piece and I'm not just saying that. Look at that, it is so cute. It's dark in there, it's got lots of room. There is a pocket up in the front. You really cannot put much in there. It's very hard to open. There's a little flap here, so it's kind of hard to get to. I mean, if you want to put a lipstick in there or your car keys, you know, that might be the best thing because you don't really use your car keys if you have a car fob and you have a keyless one, then you could just put it right in there, which my car is keyless, so it is perfect. But you guys, I have been enjoying this piece so much. I usually wear it like a sling on my back and I like to wear it as a backpack. I don't usually, I have not carried it as a crossbody. I don't know why, I just, I guess everyone's different. A lot of people like it as a crossbody, but I'm just, it, it just doesn't look good on me, I feel. I just feel like it's like this big bulky piece sitting on the side of me. Now I've seen it on uh, other YouTube videos where other people wear it that way and I think it, I thought it looked really good. And so I tried it that way and I did not favor it. So you guys, let me show you how I wear my bag. So I put one latch here and then I put the other one crisscross from the other side, just like this. And then I wear it more like this, which I thought looks so adorable. I love it and then when I go to the store, I just pull it in front of me and I can get my stuff out. It is very, very easy. And sometimes I'll wear it to the side like that, but I do love mainly to wear it just like this. And you guys, I have gotten compliments on this cute piece. I've so enjoyed it. I'm definitely hands-free. And with the pandemic and everything, you, do, you don't wanna to touch everything. Um, I actually wear my my bag charm and it looks so cute on there dangling. I mainly wear it with this piece and then I do have this bag charm which also looks so cute with it so I do have that and I've been running around just like that and it's been perfect. It's not heavy, it's small and I definitely been enjoying it. Um, let me see where it's made. I needed to get my glasses here. It is made, okay. My bag is made in the US. I don't know if I like the thought of that, but you know, when you get a Louis Vuitton, you do want it made in Paris. But you know, I don't think that would make much of a difference on the bag. I still think, you know, Louis Vuitton is just amazing. Mm -hmm. I am just so loving this piece and I enjoy it so much. Um, it is very hard to get. 
So right now, currently, I am using my Alma BB in the Epi Leather. And it is completely full, as you can see. And I'm going to go ahead and transfer uh, some of the things that is in that bag into my Palm Spring Mini. So let's see what fits. Okay. So first of all, I have the PM Agenda, which I use all the time, you guys. This is one of my go-to pieces. I cannot live without a PM Agenda, especially since it fits into a lot of my small bags. I'm a real estate agent, so I keep a lot. I keep track of a lot of things in here, appointments, whatever. So that goes right into my bag. I don't think I've ever carried it in here, though. My phone is right in here. I'm going to carry a compact. So what I'm going to do is just put my necessities in there. My card holder, you guys, I did get this new card holder, my YSL. I thought it was so pretty and um, I like the silver on there. I wanted something a little bit more casual, something different from what I have. So I just love this piece here. So that goes right in my bag as well. And as you can see, it's got, it's so hard to show you, it's got a lot of room in there still. There you go. And I've got my mitts. I've got my key play in there, which is carrying my house key. I've got Listerine. I've got Tylenol in my um, little key clay. I've got my business cards in here, and I got floss. So this is floss here and I am carrying those pieces in my clay, so that's gonna go into my bag as well. Here is my key fob for my car. I could either put that into the front pocket, because that's the only thing that would fit in there. Since it's keyless, it's perfect. I've got my uh, Dior lip gloss, which I love. My uh, NYX concealer, tiny, so I love to bring that with me. And my pen. Okay, so all that is in my Palm Spring Mini. It fits nicely, it's not too heavy. I'm loving it. And like I said, I usually put my charm on here and wear it just like this. Now, I don't usually carry my agenda in my bag. I do once in a while, but as you can see here, everything just looks perfect. I don't know how to show it to you guys without dumping everything. There it goes, my lipstick fell. Let me show you if a full-size wallet fits into this thing because I'm not really sure. I haven't used a full-size wallet in there. So I'm going to get my little, um, well, my Zippy wallet, the owl one, and I am going to stick it in here. Let's see if it fits. You know what, it doesn't fit that well, so I guess you can't use that wallet. I wonder if the Emily wallet's a little smaller. Let's see how that works out. The Emily wallet barely fits in there, so it's not something I would use. So let me put that back. Here is my push uh, mini pochette, which it fits in there nicely, so I do like that. So the mini pochette fits in there. So yes, this bag has been so wonderful. I'm so glad I got it. And it is the cutest piece ever, and I can always pass it down to my girls. And uh, me being hands-free is just a perfect thing. Um, let me go ahead and check to see if the key fob uh, will fit in here. Key fob did fit into this bag, so I don't have to worry about it taking any space whatsoever in my bag and you can always you know use it as that so as you can see there I think that would be the only thing I put in there because that's not something that I would be taking in and out of my bag all the time um, this bag does have one pocket in the back and what I like to do is stick my stick my card holder back there and so it's right there. So I've been sticking my lipstick in that um, part. And also I love the fact that there's like a little cushion here. I don't know why they put it there. I don't know if it's to 
make it more structured or because it goes on your back. I'm not really sure how that works. Um, I don't carry this body, this bag crossbody, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like crossbody anyways. Okay. So this is what it looks like crossbody, which it still looks cute. And of course you can wear it just like this. It's almost like this way I wear it sling back, but I don't know. There's something about how I just didn't like the fact that it just looks, I don't know. I, I just prefer it like this better. So I don't know if it looks different or if it makes any difference, but I do like it that way. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like when I wear it as a backpack, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to try it on backpack style. I do not like the straps so long. I don't like how it hangs. So I'll show you what I do to make the backpack shorter. And I'm, if I do wear it that way, I'm not going to wear it like a backpack all the time. So I'm not worried about it messing up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take this part off. Okay. And I'm going to show you how I can wear it with shorter straps. Okay. So I took off the extra piece here. So usually your backpack gets hooked on by this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and go in through here just like this. There we go. That's one. Okay, you guys, I shorten the straps on this bag by taking the additional piece off and I really like it like that. So let me show you what it looks like on. And I've wore it like this a few times. And look how cute that looks, you guys. I love it. I love it just like this. I guess when I travel, I can wear it more like this. But my favorite way is the sling back way, you guys, because then I can pull it forward anytime and just get what I need out you put it on your back you have to take it off your back so or you can wear it like this so anyways you guys this is um, a bag that I've been so enjoying enjoy wearing but like I said this is my bag right now for today and um, trying to rotate my bags a little bit more than I usually do since I have more bags than I ever have before. And my husband's like, hey, you haven't even put on the bag or wore the bag that I purchased you, whatever. And I still have my brand new Escal collection, the pink. I love that bag. I've gotten so many compliments on it. It's just a perfect speedy I love the color I love everything about it and then I got this piece here you guys um, if you haven't seen that video on my new Escal collection please check it out I will put the uh, link right up here so you guys can see it and please if you haven't subscribed I know there's a bunch of people that watch my videos and have not subscribed please subscribe to help me get to at least 2,000 I have been this my journey has been really slow and I enjoy talking to my viewers and I so love my YouTube community and I want to thank you guys for everything and you guys have a wonderful day and God bless you bye